spoke a word you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You have been so, so kind to me. And all the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God, all that chases me now, life still I'm found, leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it, still you yourself away all oh, the overwhelming never ending reckless love of God oh, yeah. Lord your love's I was your foe, still your love fought for me. You have been so, so good to me. When I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. You have been so, so kind. The overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending. shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Whoa. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, Lie, you won't tear down, coming after me. Whoa. No shadow, you won't light up. Mountain, you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall, you won't kick down. Lie, you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow, you won't light up. Mountain, you won't climb up. Coming after me, oh. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. Coming after me, oh. The overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm out. Leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. Don't deserve it Still you give yourself away Oh, the overwhelming Never-ending Reckless of God yeah. Oh, yeah Love of God Oh
thank you so much for joining us today. So good to have our family on this uh, Good Friday. You know, it's interesting when you stop and think of the word Good Friday, maybe in the time we're dealing with right now, maybe Good Friday isn't the most suitable for what we're going through. We're having physical distancing. Thank you for everybody staying connected socially. But but I, and, and in preparation for this, I began to, to seek and ask God, what, what would be something that would fit with where we find ourselves at right now? And I was taken to a passage of scripture in the book of John. And if you have your Bible, you can turn there. John chapter 19, we're going to be in verse 25 through 27. And in this passage, we're dealing with Jesus is on the cross. That's what today is. Today's the day in which uh, Jesus has been gone through such difficulty. He's been tortured. He's dealing with pain. He's dealing with being alone, hanging on this cross. And many of us even find ourselves like that right now. Yet in spite of all of that, Jesus noticed what was going on around him. He wasn't so focused on himself with the pain that he was dealing with, but rather what was going on around him. Just like with us, our family, we're all around here together. We're gathered together on this Good Friday to celebrate really the thing that has opened access to eternity for for all of us. And in this, and I want to read this passage of scripture. It's uh, John chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Family. So often we take our family for granted. We get accustomed to them. We get used to them right now. Maybe we get a little tired of them. But, but Jesus here shows us the importance of family. The importance of being together. Even in the moment of anguish. Even in the moment of pain. Even in the moment that most people having gone through that wouldn't be focusing on people around them. Wouldn't be worried about their family. Wouldn't be worried about everybody else. Would really be focused on themselves. What they're going through and what they're dealing with. But here Jesus spite of what he's doing, spite of what he's going through, looks out and sees his mother and realizes, you know what? She has to be taken care of, family. Family needs to be there for each other. And so in this time of our lives, when we're dealing with anxiety and pain and hardship and difficulty and fear maybe even, we have our family to be around us. And to some of us in this place right now, maybe on this Friday, it can be a good Friday because maybe a family member, a loved one, someone that you haven't talked to in a long time that right here, right now, you decide, you know what, I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to reconnect. I'm not going to to, to keep this distance going on between us. But no, I I want to do do as Jesus did and say, hey, let's take care of each other. Jesus says it so beautifully. And in fact, the last words that we hear Jesus ever said is in Luke, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And everything happening, guess what? Others matter. Others are important. So let's take the time on this Good Friday to make it a Good Friday where we gather together with our family in a moment we're going to be taking, partaking communion together. Let's take this time right here, right now to gather together to partake of what Jesus has set before us, his table. David says it so beautifully in Psalm 23 that he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemy. Everything going on? Yeah, we've got some physical distancing. But right in the middle of all this uncertainty, discomfort, Jesus says, I want to prepare a table for you, for your family, for your friends a place where there's peace, a place where there's comfort. So let's partake of that today and remember that today, this Friday, it is a good Friday. And so as we prepare to take communion together, um, maybe you're just connecting uh, with our Good Friday service and so um, that you would have some juice, some bread, and um, if you'll prepare that and we'll get ready to have communion with our families today. 
Um, as you were talking, Jared, I couldn't help but think of maybe, maybe you're joining us today and maybe you find yourself sitting in the living room alone. I want you to know that that is one of the reasons why Jesus came, is that we would not be alone. And so it is our absolute honor as a family to um, take communion together with you wherever you are. I want you to know that over the last, since Monday, um, the last five days, that the Chapel North family has been praying for you. We have been fasting for you. Many people have made sacrifices of pushing away maybe a favorite food item and, um, and a lot of prayer and so many calling your names in prayer. And so it's not by accident that you are watching with us, but not only watching, but participating with us. So before we go into our time of communion, I want us to go to Matthew chapter 6 in the New Testament. And I want us all to pray this together. This is what is called the Lord's Prayer. We're going to pray this together, and then we're going to go into communion. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, and let's pray this together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. May I pause right there and tell you that has been one of our prayers this week is that you will have what you need, that God is going to provide for you. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And I don't know if you feel like me, but this may have been the quietest it has been in your home in the last, how, how many days are we on? I, it feels like 427 days. I think like this first month has been um, 365 days. So we just first and foremost celebrate that our children are sitting here behaved, like quiet, smiling. I hope that your, that your house is as quiet as ours is right now. Thank you for joining us. And so we're going to enter into our communion. And uh, the first thing we'll do is we will take the bread. And whether you have these actual elements for communion or not, um, it's the, sim the symbolism of what we want to remember today. And so it could be any kind of bread or juice, whatever you have. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to take uh, the bread, which also symbolizes the body and how thankful we are that we get to be in the body of Christ and the body of Christ in us. And we are so thankful for what his body means and represents to us. There is salvation. There is healing in the body. And so what we do first is we break the bread and then we take of the bread. And now we take the cup. And this cup, this juice, symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ. And as is custom with our Chapel North family, we always raise that cup up, that blood up over our heads. And we say that the blood of Jesus covers all of us. And so it is my prayer today that the blood of Jesus would just cover you that you would feel and experience the peace that comes from knowing Jesus Christ and that he covers whatever it is that he would cover your mind, that the blood of Jesus Christ would cover your mind, that the blood of Jesus Christ, maybe you are feeling sickness or dealing with sickness, that the blood of Jesus Christ would heal whatever it is that is in your body, that the blood of Jesus Christ would protect your finances, protect your marriage, protect your children, protect your home. And so we speak the blood of Jesus Christ. And thank you, Jesus, for the blood that covers all of our sins, that heals us and washes us. And now we take the blood. God, I thank you so much for what you did. Thank you, God, that this Good Friday, even though it looked dark and it felt dark and it seemed dark for you, and even in the lives of many of us right now, it just may feel dark and look dark, but oh, there is good that is coming. There is forgiveness that is coming because of what you did. And so Good Friday is good. It is holy. It is pleasing unto you. And I thank you 
Thank you for every person that is with us today, God. Thank you for every family, every marriage, every individual, Father. You see them. And whether they feel alone or not, you see them. You know their name. And thank you for the reminder today. You see, you know, you care, and you've already paid the price. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. We love you. Heights 
reach from the depths as far as east is from the west. So far your grace has carried me. Until I see you face to face, until at last I've won my race, remind me you're not finished yet. Hallelujah. 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 I'll live in Thank you.